There are secret things you don't know in X Defiant. Here are 10 things to gain the advantage. Tip number one, using your pistol to run around a map. Not necessarily for gunfights, but because it has the best mobility. This is going to allow you to move around the map very quickly, get to engagements quicker or the objective quicker. And this is also going to allow you to utilize movement a little bit more because it's going to give you more momentum. So if you're running around the map and you decide to strafe or slide, you can easily swap to your main weapon, your primary, and then use it with the movement that you just used to the pistol and obviously take them out this is very effective you're gonna see a lot of the pro players do this a lot of the sweatier players just swapping out their pistol and their primary you've got to be using this to your advantage tip number two it's the bunny hop in x defy you can actually bunny hop if done correctly and if you have this setting enabled you're gonna make sure you want to turn auto sprint on and that way when you move forward you automatically have the full momentum of the sprint you don't want to sprint forward and then jump and slide at the same time as soon as you land and then you're just going to spam it over and over over and over again this movement definitely gives you an advantage in certain gunfights because one you become a harder target as you're bunny hopping around the map and two coming in ads out of the bunny hop is so quick and just so fast that you're able to snap on your targets and take them out very easily it definitely catches a lot of people off guard and this movement is a little bit more advanced but once you get the hang of it you're going to realize how effective it is it does take some time to practice and obviously it does take a lot of effort to apply tip number three we're going to be talking about the red dots on the mini map now a lot of people tend to get confused because they don't understand if someone is on the first floor or the second floor they're not really understanding the elevations on the mini map and where your opponent actually is well there's a way to tell the difference if the red dot is kind of hollow and you know darkened out instead of being just pure red that means they're usually on the opposite floor where you're at so if you're on the second floor and it looks hollow they're on the first floor if you're on the first floor and it's pure red then obviously they're on the first floor understanding this is very important because it's going to allow you to find your opponents very easy and quicker than if you did not know this tip tip number four we're going to be talking about movement and that's sliding down ramps staircases sliding through holes or vents that will give you a lot of momentum and you can use this many ways one you can use this to just maneuver on the map and get to places quicker you're going to notice places that have big ramps or even small ramps if you slide down them you go very quickly and if there's a long ramp you can even slide down a long ramp all the way down which is pretty cool not only that it's going to allow you to catch your opponents off guard or you can even use that as a momentum movement to challenge your opponents and catch them off guard tip number five we're going to be talking about the dead sex spiders ability now it's one of the most annoying thing in the game and people don't understand how to counter it and how to get them off them so there's three things i want to note about this one the best way to obviously counter it is if you can shoot it before it gets to you but a lot of the times that doesn't happen right it's already on you and you're in trouble so what do you do next well two you can try to punch it as soon as it's jumping on you if you time it correctly you will take it out and you'll be fine that timing is extremely hard and i myself even struggle to do that and three which the best way to take it out is when as soon as it jumps on you and it's stuck in your face what you want to do is look down a little bit all the way down if possible and start shooting and within the first couple bullets you'll take it out and you're free to go and that brings me to tip number six emps are so underrated and if used correctly it can be game changing for two reasons of course one if you use it on your opponents they're not going to be able to use any abilities for a couple seconds so if they have an ability they're about to use an ultimate anything they just can't that obviously can stop them from breaking a hill holding a hill holding an objective not necessarily hill but also if someone has their ability up on the field on the playing field you can use the emp to completely destroy it so we're talking about you know spiders from dead sec we're talking about walls from phantom if someone's camouflaged automatically stops the camouflage whatever specialist ability they're currently being used or on the playing field it will counter and completely stop it and let's talk about tip number seven one of the best movements in the game and you have to be doing it if you haven't already that's going to be the strafe jump mid-air challenge now this is actually fairly simple to do but sometimes people struggle with this movement simply what you're going to want to do is slide jump and then strafe aka move in one direction mid-air once you get the slide canceled down mixed with the strafe you're going to notice how effective this is it's really hard to counter and people have to be pretty turned to take you out so the way to use this is you challenge someone you slide jump and you can either strafe to the left or strafe to the right and you can do a hard strafe sometimes it's good to juke them a little bit so you can go forward to the left and then immediately to the right and that is going to be one of the best movements you can use in game to win more gunfights gunfights that you should have not won in the first place like i'm talking about 
about your one shot. You're like, oh, I'm dead for sure. And you hit them with this insane movement and you take them out and you're just completely mind blown. You're like, wow, I probably should have been dead, but I'm somehow still here. Yes, this is a movement that you should 100% master and apply to your gameplay. But that brings me tip number eight, and that is the headshot multiplier. The headshots are a must in this game, especially at a higher level, especially if you want to win crazier gunfights. You're going to want to practice aiming for the head a little bit more. This is going to be a little bit difficult at first, but once you get your aim down and once you just apply it more, it's going to become a little bit easier. Obviously, pick and choose when is the right time to aim for the head. There's a damage setting that you can turn on that shows the damage output you're doing to your opponent. So it'll show the body shots versus like a headshot multiplier. You can see the headshot multiplier is a lot more devastating. You're usually killing somebody between one to two bullets quicker, which is a lot faster. But this is going to be a crazy difference. As simple as it sounds, this is so important. And especially once you start playing better players, you're going to realize that it makes a huge difference and it's going to win you more gunfights. Tip number nine, change these colorblind settings to yellow to see your enemy a lot easier. This one is very simple as well, but it makes a big difference in your game. Usually when your opponent is red and outlined red, it's kind of harder to see them, right? It's not like it's super hard, but when you change their color and their name to yellow, the outline is yellow, the name is yellow. It's a lot easier to track your opponents, to see them. It's just visually, it becomes so much easier to even maybe hit your shots. And tip number 10, seeing players through certain objects, car windows, little nerdy spots, doesn't really get utilized in X-Defined as it does in Call of Duty, the games like Rainbow Six. And I feel like the maps, the way it's laid out, and like, it doesn't feel like you can really interact with some of the objects. And I understand why you may think that, but there's definitely some really cool spots. Like I said, even certain cars on certain maps where you can see through a window gains you that advantage of seeing your opponent first or even catching them off guard or even little cracks and nerdy spots that you can use and catch your opponent off guard you got to figure these things out and use them to your advantage here's a secret little tip because i love you guys this is an easy one but make sure your mini map and your hud is just mushed in closer push it in closer now the big reason is because your mini map is one of the most important information you could get for yourself as a player even like with just no communications just like the amount of information you get on your mini map is huge. You know, seeing your teammates and where your opponents are shooting is very important. So this brings your mini map a lot closer to the center of your screen. That way you don't have to stretch your eyes and put just your eyes so far away from the middle of your screen where, you know, important stuff are also happening. On top of all the other stuff you get to see, like your ammo, all the other extra stuff, but the mini map is what's crucial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm live at twitch.tv apathy. So make sure to check me out there and follow the stream.